you know, the launch countdown happens and we're a go and it's 10 minutes left and we're scrambling out of the building that we're in to go run with the rest of the folks at 2 a.m. in the morning to try to get the best view that we can. Okay, for these first 80 seconds, it's a white knuckle experience. About 11 feet long, 3% scale. Uh, and we size it to be as big as we can make it so we can fit as much instrumentation as we can into the model. We are testing this model to test for transonic buffet. Say that you're driving behind a 18-wheel tractor trailer, right? You, you get close enough, you can feel the wind pushing you back and forth in you know semi-oscillation motion. Well, that's buffeting. You're getting buffeted back and forth, back and forth. Same sort of principle for the SLS rocket as it's launching through the atmosphere. So our team is concerned with about 20 seconds of flight between 40 to 60 to 75 seconds into the flight. And that's where the vehicle is going fast enough and the atmosphere still has enough air to be able to exert these forces on the vehicle that indeed shake the vehicle. The experience is, uh, is surreal. When you have so many people, engineers, researchers, technicians, putting in so much energy into Artemis 1, or 2, 3, and so on, it's not a mechanical system anymore. It has a soul, it has a system of its own. It has